Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best and free 93 overall player to choose. Now if you guys don't know, the Turkey Bowl solos, I've actually started them already, you can actually get, or you will, one 93 overall NAT all-star player. Now it is actually a fantasy pack so you can choose any of the eight players. Now keep in mind guys, it really doesn't matter who you choose if you guys are trying to wonder like if it matters when it comes to getting Lawrence Taylor or Walter Payton. It doesn't matter because you go them in, you throw them into this set, you put in any five all-star players. You can literally put in five of the same player and you get a fantasy pack where you get to choose five of any eight. So I do believe you can add this NAT card that you get from the solo challenges into the sets and actually get LT or Walter Payton for a little bit cheaper. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the best 93 overall players to choose. I will also be having another video coming out for you guys later today, going over the turkey trotters and kind of helping you guys pick which player you guys should do. So starting off, we're going to go over Patrick Mahomes. Now he's going for 380k, but again, doesn't matter because they're basically all going to be around the same price because they're all, you know, free. And of, well, they are free. <laughs> and of course, Literally, all you have to do to go ahead and get these cards, if you want to do the set, is put in the same exact cards. So they should all be going for the same price or around the same price range. So if we take a look at Patrick Mahomes compared to Donovan McNabb, now one thing you have to keep in mind is if you want to power this card up, you do have to go ahead and buy his Team of the Week card, and you have to buy like his Rising Star and his Core Gold. So it does cost quite a bit to power him up if you don't have his Team of the Week card already powered up, but I gotta say the card looks really good. 79 speed, 94 throw power with a 91 short, 87 medium, 87 deep with an 84 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and an 82 play action. Now, I believe that the medium, uh, I think it's, I think the thresholds are 90 short. I believe it's 85 medium and 80 deep. So he actually does reach all the thresholds. For those of you guys who don't know what thresholds are, basically it means he's going to be having, you know like the most accurate passes that's kind of like the bottom line which you want to have on a qb so he does have all those now if you power him up and you put go deep chem on him he can get up to 98 throw power which then of course you have john madden he's gonna be a 99 throw power so patrick mahomes can get to 99 throw power and of course you put go deep on him max it out you'd be a 90 deep accuracy with 91 short and 87 medium then of course you can power him up you have john madden this card can be really good plus he has an 87 acceleration with a 92 throw on the run i gotta say i really like this mahomes card especially if you're going to keep him as like a backup later and then just wait till he gets another upgrade because let's be honest here mahomes is probably going to win either mvp or maybe even office player of the year one of the two so he will get an honors card and because honors cards are usually limited time cards you'll probably be able to power him up with training points Next is Jarrell Casey, 93 overall. Now, I actually have a really good comparison for him, and it's going to be Aaron Donald. Now, of course, the biggest difference is going to be the speed and the acceleration. 70 speed compared to 80, and 78 acceleration compared to 87 acceleration. Besides that, though, 90 strength compared to 92 strength, pretty good still. 94 tackling is actually better than this Aaron Donald. 92 play rec, and the block shit is 5 better at 93 with a 94 power move, 84 finesse move. Keep in mind, you can also power up Jarrell Casey to where we'd have an actually better power move. And then, of course, you have John Madden. You have pass rush cam all the way up. You can get Casey to 99 power move. This card is going to be good. Uh, catching wise, only a 33. I'd imagine he doesn't have a good zone at all either. Uh, zone is a 27. That's terrible. Stamina of an 89 is actually better than Donald. And hit power of a 91 compared to 76 for Donald. This Jarrell Casey is a really good sleeper. And if you guys don't have Aaron Donald, I really don't know another right end that I would rather have besides Donald and Casey. Next up is Jason Peters. And I have another good comparison here and Jonathan Ogden. So take a look here, 93 strength. He has the same strength as Ogden. 95 awareness. He literally has three better awareness. 
93 pass blocking, 94 pass block power, with a 90 pass block finesse, not to mention 89 run block, 89 run block power, and 89 run block finesse. Now, this is a 92 overall legend left tackle that is completely powered up compared to only 93 Jason Peters, who you can go ahead and power up. I believe he has a heavyweight card. She would have to buy the heavyweight to go ahead and complete the power up progression. But not only that, speed 65, 10 better speed, and two more acceleration over Ogden. Agility is also six better on Jason Peters. The card is really, really good. I mean, he's literally the same strength, better awareness, better pass block power, same pass block. The only things he's kind of less in, of course, would be the run blocking stats. But I mean, you're comparing getting a free left tackle who you can power up to a 94 overall, and he would have better strength, better pass block, already better pass block power and better awareness he'd have even more speed and then his pass block finesse would be the same the run block would be two less still uh run block power would be two less still and then the run block finesse would be one less jason peters is really good next up is going to be miles jack now comparing miles jack to Miles to left outside linebacker which is kevin green it's a little bit different because these are two different styles of linebackers but if you have a 4-3 defense I think Miles Jack is your pick. I don't think it's even a question. The man has 86 speed with 89 acceleration, 76 strength, 91 tackle, 91 player with an 84 block shed, and then of course the catching, 73. Jumping is going to be an 89, and the zone coverage of Miles Jack is an 86, which if you have John Madden and you have lockdown completely tiered out, you get that to 90 zone coverage, which is the elite tier threshold. Or you can just power him up. If you already have his power up, you power him up. You don't even need to have John Madden to get him to 90 zone coverage. 110%. If you have a 4-3 defense, Miles Jack should be your pick. Next up is Adam Thielen. Now, to be honest, Thielen's kind of my lowest, to be honest. Like, completely honest. I love Adam Thielen's cards, or Adam Thielen in general, but his cards really are just not amazing. Uh, you compare him to Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. I think Randy Moss kind of more like a fair comparison here. Uh, seeing how Randy Moss goes for about, I think, like 250K, 300K, somewhere around there. So about at the same price as Adam Thielen. 89 speed compared to 91. 90 jumping to 92. 93 catching is good. 89 catch traffic's good. 92 spec catch. And then, of course, the route running as well is very good with 92 short, 91 medium, 88 deep, and he's six foot two. Now, Thielen can run block, I'm pretty sure. Run block is a 67, so that's very good run blocking. But just with all the other receivers that we have out right now, Randy Moss is probably better. Jerry Rice is better. Calvin Johnson's better. I just feel like with the 93 overalls, there's a lot better picks. Now, let's say you already have a really good left tackle and you don't want to sell him. You don't, you know, you already have a better QB than Patrick Mahomes. Going with a depth position and Adam Thielen at wide receiver is not a terrible idea at all because, of course, worst case scenario, Thielen would be like your number four receiver for the rest of the year or number five, worst case. We also have Gerald McCoy, which is pretty interesting here. This might be my pick. Now, I do have Mean Joe Green, but take a look here. He has 10 less speed. He has one less excel and four less strength, but he's actually got two better tackle. One better play rec, only three less block shed, and three less power move with an 87 finesse move. Now, of course, you can power Jerry McCoy. He does have 18 diamond cards, so that'd be a little bit more expensive to power him up. But you compare him to me and Joe Green, which is literally supposed to be the best, you know, defensive tackle in the game right now. Jerry McCoy stacks up pretty dang well. Now, stamina-wise, 88 to 92. Hit power, 85 to 91. So I really like Mean Joe. But if you don't have Mean Joe and you need a defensive tackle, Jerem McCoy is really, really good. Next up is Alvin Kamara. And comparing Alvin Kamara to Ricky Williams, he's really good. Now, the only problem that I have with Kamara is that his speed is only a 90, which is still good, but his carry is an 86. So 90 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 86 carrying, which is the bad part. But he's got really good catching at 78. 94 elusiveness with an 81 trucking and a 91 break tackle and of course his spin move and juke move let's take a look here 81 stiff arm 90 spin 91 juke but here's the problem with me when it comes to running backs i'm sure a lot of you guys probably have this man saquon barkley now he might be your number one running back he might be your number two here's the thing though saquon's playing pretty good he's probably gonna get off as a rookie of the year and of course everyone has ricky williams so to me 
Taking Alvin Kamara is not a terrible pick. Uh, he's a really good card, but I feel like everybody has Ricky Williams, and to me, the trucking, the one speed, the carrying, Ricky Williams is better than Alvin Kamara. Now, hopefully I didn't miss out on anybody, but I believe this is the final one, and of course, it's going to be Darius Slay, which I got to say... This card looks really good. Now, I just got Marshawn Lattimore, and you guys can see how he stacks up. 92 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility, 85 jumping, 93 play rec, 91 man with a 94 zone, and 86 press. And, of course, he does have a power-up, so you can power him up. 78 catching, 61 tackling with a jumping of 85, which is kind of low. He is 6 feet tall. Block shot of a 56, which is better than Marshawn Lattimore, and a hit power of a 72. So, in my opinion... Ranking these guys, I personally would say you would want to go with a depth position. So for me personally, I would say Darius Slay is probably my number one because, of course, with Darius Slay, like I said before, you can put him at cornerback number four, cornerback number five later in the year, and he'd still be pretty good for you. Of course, Jarrell Casey at right end, he's pretty good too. Uh, compared, if you don't have Aaron Donald, Jarrell Casey is a really big stud. Patrick Mahomes, unless you're going to be powering up Patrick Mahomes literally all year long, I don't feel like this is the best case scenario, uh, the best card to pick in my opinion. Jason Peters as well is another pretty decent guy, but you got to remember depth position. Jason Peters probably won't start for the rest of the year. Miles Jack, linebacker is really important. So, I mean, worst case scenario, like again, back him in a linebacker's uh, back about some linebacker, you can Miles Jack there later in the year, and he's still one of the best outside linebackers in the game right now. Gerald McCoy, of course, you can use two defensive tackles, and the same thing with Adam Thielen is just another depth position. So personally, I would say Darius Slay one. Um, I guess I'll put Slay one. Thielen would have to be like three or four, just because of the fact the wide receiver is a big depth position. My person I would say to stay away from is probably going to be. Ah, it's really tough to say because the card looks so good now, but later in the year, if you're not going to power up Jason Peters, I say you stay away from him. Kamara, worst case, you get some depth. Patrick Mahomes, unless you're going to power him up, I would not pick him just because of the fact you're not going to use him afterwards. And then, of course, Jared McCoy, you can use two defensive tackles. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.